your uh-huh. ego connected to the first time my mom bought me some Jordans right. in fourth grade. I didn't even know what they was the fours. I got the mm-hmm. fours in fourth grade. I always, always look for like lineups like that. Mm-hmm. And my, somebody told my mama, he gonna like this. And then I walked through the school and everybody was looking at my shoes. I didn't even know about it. Right. Then I would go visit my dad out in uh, Tacoma Park, Maryland. And it was this uh, rich kid that had enough Jordans to be able to wear mismatched Jordans like BBD. Right. And he had have them with the Jabot yeah. shorts and with, po- with a polo shirt. Wow. Because I'm coming there dressed like Heavy D with the metal with the tip of my shoes and uh-huh. stuff with like rayon shirts and polka dots. Uh-huh. And he's like, we don't dress like that no more. Mm. We dress like this. Mm. I came back to Chicago with the new style and ever since then, I've always been like ahead of niggas. Mm. Uh, and I always, I always like that feeling of being ahead. Mm. But if you're ahead long enough, you get, eventually you need to become the head. You need to become...